Hello YouTube! Today I wanted to show you guys how I designed my Ida bags. Now all of my Ida bags are from this company here called Kokan. Um, I'm sure you've seen back here my Hatsune Miku Ida bag. She's filled to the brim but I could probably squeeze more in there. But this has been my go-to bag for the last like entire year. It's especially good for conventions. I love having Ida bags for conventions because you can just like show off your fandom so well. And especially the bags from Kokan, they hold a lot, they're really sturdy, and they're just like super comfortable. I really don't like bags that go over one shoulder because they hurt my back a lot, so I really like having backpacks especially. And this here is their newest bag. This is called the Cutility, and it can be worn as a backpack, but you can also adjust the straps if you want like this way or if you want a crossbody if you do like those types of bags. It's super adjustable and easy to use. You can see if you order from them, they have these little flyers. And this is a picture of my best friend M that I took of her last year, around Christmas time last year. Um, we've worked with them a couple times and this year is no different. We love Cocan so much and we're so excited to be working with them again. Now, since I wear my Ida bag basically everywhere I go, I've had a lot of questions about how I make them and how I set them up. So I'm going to set up this bag with you guys here today. All you really need for this is a bag and your jar of goodies. This bag specifically is really good because it comes with a removable insert that is just Velcros on inside of the bag so you can easily like design the whole bag out here and then stick it in. Um, but if you'd like to change the color of that, it's easy to take a piece of fabric. This is just a scrap piece I had from an old project that you can pin on there if you want to change the color. I'm going to change mine to white because I think it'll make some more contrast in that hole there. And then the last couple things will be any accessories. Kokan has tons of accessories. Here is some of their colored pins. Um, I also have right here, this is one of their badge holders. I have some lights from them. I have some charms from them. Lots of cool little extra accessories that you can add into your bag to make it even more special. And I'll say it right now, if you're going to order a eat a bag anytime soon, especially in the next month, or if you like this bag specifically or any of their accessories, be sure to check out Kokan. We have a code CRM19 to get 20% off your first order at Kokan. It expires December 31st at midnight 2019. So if you like this bag, be sure to pick one up from the shop. If you don't know what an eat a bag is, an eat a bag is a bag, usually a backpack or purse of some kind with a window in it so you can put merch. Most people do them with all of one specific character or one fandom or one like group of characters. Sometimes you can do them for a ship. It comes from the idea of kind of gross is what it's called of like you're just so obsessed, so in love with this one character that you just dedicate all of the space to it. A lot of times people look at it and be like wow it's so filled with merch you spent way too much money on that one character but it's a way to show your devotion to a character or fandom or something that you love like that. I love doing Ida bags especially for like convention bags and stuff they're really fun and I love showing off my favorite characters and fandoms and artists in them plus it's like a fun craft to work on I love making and designing the bags too it's like almost like putting it together a puzzle because none of these are really meant to go together. They're all made by different artists and creators or like official merch if you have that. Um, so it's really fun to figure out a way to match everything together in a big pattern that like fits and works well. With that, let's just get into making my bag. I'm so excited to show you guys this. My bag today is going to be based on Sedith from Fire Emblem Three Houses. He's my favorite character in the game. I love him so much. Uh, this cute little guy is uh, from Permade and Ribbon Eels on Twitter. They did a bunch of Fire Emblem plush and I pre-ordered their Sedith one. Um, so he's just gonna sit over here with me while we make this bag. Right here is my jar of charms. This is just a jellyfish because uh, Sedith and Feline like fish and it's kind of fishy so I thought that'd be a nice cute extra touch. But here is all of my Sedith pieces. 
and I'm gonna load up my bag with all these. I have all of the cards that some of the artists gave me their business cards so I can put those in there too uh, so I can make sure I know who all these charms are from. Now the first thing I did to this bag I did off camera but I will show it to you real quick. The bag opens up like this and then here you go inside. I attached these lights from Cocaine. They are battery operated, you just go like that. I attach them to the inside of my pouch so that way when the bag is closed it kind of has like almost like a halo glow around the bag. I love having my bags light up. I don't actually forget to turn them on a lot so I turned the switch for this one. It's very easily accessible. It kind of hangs out the top here and can just go in there because my Miku one to turn the lights on and that I have to go in through the whole bag. Um, but those are especially fun at conventions at nighttime because it's just like it glows and it's so so extra. I'm going to attach this white piece of fabric to their removable insert. Um, I thought it would just add some more contrast and make the charm stand out a little more. This bag comes in black like this one but it's also available in pink and almond so if you want a different color to match your favorite character they have lots of options available. One thing that I love about Ida bags is how much you can change them. You could easily sew this on here if you wanted something permanent, but I'm just pinning mine because if I want to change this or take it off, it's easy enough to just take the pins off and then redo it if I wanted a different character on here or something like that. Or if I just want to change the color for the backdrop. Okay, we're going to dig into all these charms here. Real quick, I'll show you some of the business cards for some of these artists. This one gave me a little drawing of Sede. Okay, so I got all of my charms out. Something that I really love to do with my bags is to buy a lot of charms from independent artists. It's always good to get official merch if there's some available. As of right now, there is nothing official available of Sedith. So this is all fan merch here that my bag will be made of. I have a couple pins that I made myself, like this one I printed myself and it's just a screenshot from the game. Um, do not do that with someone else's fan art, but if it's an official screenshot of the game or anime or whatever you're making your character bag out of, I think that's okay to take a picture of an official thing and print it on your own thing. Again, don't do that with someone else's fan art, but if you are making a bag with some official pictures. That is what I did for these. Um, I will link the site that I made these at in the description. This one here is the S support image and it is just a regular old button, but then ones like this, this is just set its game sprite. Um, this has nothing on the back and I'll show you why I made that that way in a second. So I'm gonna work tour the from the inside out. So things that I'm going to be putting on the outer portion of my bag, I'm going to put to the side right now. And that will be all of those ones. Now, here is the inner portion. I have all of these charms. They're so cute and I love them so much. This one here came with the pre-order of my Sedith plush and I actually didn't know I was getting that when I pre-ordered it. I thought I was just getting the plush. But they sent this and some stickers and a letter and a bunch of really nice stuff. Please be sure to go check out those artists. They were great. Almost all of these charms can be found on Etsy also. If you are also happening to be making a Sedith bag, I will link to all of these individual charms in the description. Um, and I'll give you like a little highlight of each one of them that I'm putting in here. Now because this specific bag I've kind of 
put together and taken apart a few times now as more things that I had ordered came in. I do know that this has a relatively small hole compared to the Miku bag at least. Um, I love this hole actually because it's very doable. A lot of Ida bags can be really overwhelming when you look at them and you're like, oh, there's all this space to fill up. There's so many things I need to get. Where this one is just like the middle here. So it's very easy and doable to fill that up. So I know that on this, it'll just be like the middle portion of this. So if I put something like out in this corner, you're not actually going to see it out the bag hole. But it's like the middle section here that we want to fill up. So the way I like to do this first is just to take all of the pieces and kind of put them together like a puzzle and see how they fit together. So maybe if I wanted those pieces like that and then and just like place them on and see how they fit before you actually go through with attaching them. Um, they're not permanent so it's easy to unpin them but it can be really annoying when you're like pinning and unpinning and redoing and stuff. But even just like throwing some on like that. Like they're all just kind of in a pile there but I know relatively this much will be in there. Maybe this corner might be a little empty, so I'll adjust them and move them around some more. Another tip I have is don't be afraid to layer things. Say like this one has this piece here, the clip, but if I wanted to layer, have the clip being behind that, then it would just be like one on top of the other. You don't have to do it so spaced out. I think that's how a lot of bags end up looking like crammed but in a good way where it's like there's so much stuff there's no space between them is because things are layered. So maybe I want this in the middle. Okay I think I've got a pretty good plan of how I want to lay all these out. So I'll take a close up so you can see the layout plan before I go in with attaching everything. So I might speed through this part a little bit, but I'm just going to go in and pin all of these in place. Okay, we're back and I've got all of my pieces pinned onto my little backdrop here. Now, some more tips before we move on. If you don't want your pins like this to show through the top, I pin them through the back this way. Uh, you can kind of tell like this. And I just have it go through enough so that it can hold onto the edge of a piece. But yeah, we've got a pretty good place here. I'm pretty happy with how this is. Now I know things like up here, this part won't see through the hole. These sides here won't see through it and the very bottom won't. So I know it's just this inner circle for the specific bag that we want to be able to see. First thing before I add some more, I'm going to put this in the bag and check if the placement of everything is right and just make sure I like how it looks, see if there's nothing that I want to change before I move on to the next step. Like I said, this is a removable insert for this bag. When you open it up, there's these zippers here that you can undo. And then this opens up here. And then you just take the Velcro part at the top and reattach it. So that will be up there. This bag is especially good for pins or like, like enamel pins and stuff like that because um, they will not move. Whereas something like a charm like these can kind of move around a little more in there. You can still do charms in it. It's just a little bit harder to get them to stay in place how you want them to. So here we can see the stuff I put at the top, you can't really see in there at all. So I'll probably just lower everything on the insert down just a little bit before I move on to the next step. Now I'm pretty happy where I've got everything situated in this bag here. So the next thing that I would do in decorating my bag is using Cocan's little glass charms. I love these. I think these put just the best little extra sparkly touch in your bag in making it special. Here I've got their glass heart charms. These are pink hearts and some blue stars. I like the blue stars for Sedith because they kind of match his clothes 
and then the pink heart because I love him. So I will just take some pins and some of these and just scatter them throughout between the charms in there and just filling in any little tiny gaps with these. So it looks like maybe like right here there's some extra space um, up there between things. Any little extra space. I'll just fill any gaps with charms. Okay, that is two full packs of the glass charms from Koken all attached wonderfully in here and then you can see like the back of it is just like riddled with all of these pins because it's holding so much in there you can definitely feel the bag start to get heavier and heavier as you add more stuff in there but that's basically everything i'm gonna do for the inside portion of this bag i'm just gonna lay that in there and then that'll be basically done until someday when i inevitably get more set of merch to somehow figure out how to fit in here well, i'll just zip this up and we'll get on to the outside portion of the bag beautiful so filled up so much set it so much of my anime husband okay so here's the last couple things uh, now I'll explain to you guys why I got those pins with no backs on them. That is because I have this from Koken. This is one of their badge holders. Just unpins on the top there and then you can, here I'll show you. Slide that right into there like that. And then you can imagine two on each side and they just fill in those holes. And there we go. There's two on that side and two on that side. There's a hook right here. I like to take one of these inside zippers that closes the inside pouch and you can kind of slide it over and I've been attaching this onto that zipper. And then you just want to make sure it's layered because if it's over here, this can get a little heavy and take that zipper down. But if you kind of put it over the fold of the bag and it just sits nicely on the side there. This one is from Puka Parade. Their name is Cassia. They're a very great artist and we're actually hosting a giveaway with them. So if you want some Fire Emblem, Critical Role, Dragon Age, lots of good fandoms that I'm a huge part of, but some merch, be sure to check out our giveaway. It only runs for a couple more days. So be sure to jump on that. This one I'm gonna hook over on. Maybe I should put that in the bow. This is one of my new ones, so I don't exactly have a place planned for it yet. Cause I want it to be seen more. Here. Like that. It's a key tag for Garrick Mock for the staff and members of the church. They also have ones for the houses and everything too. And then the last one, this guy doesn't really have anything to do with Sedith, but I wanted an extra cute touch on there. And he's kind of like fishy and like Flame loves her fish. So that one I've been sticking on the other zipper side. Just to give it some extra fun fluffiness. And there we go, that's everything in my Sedith bag. Wow, it feels so nice to have it finally all done and put together. A lot of these charms I got on pre-order uh, because around the time I was starting this, it was like everyone was just coming out with their Fire Emblem merch. Um, like I said, I put all of the artists for these individual pieces in there, I will put all of their links in the description for this video. I'll also put a link to this bag and some of the accessories I use from Kokan. So be sure to check all of those things out because all of those things are from amazing people. I'm gonna go take some close-up footage of my bag so I can show it off to you guys a little more. But with that, we're basically done with this video. Do you guys already have an Ida bag put together or do you have a plan for one? Let me know which character you would make your Ida bag based on. This is my third bag right now. And I just love doing these so much. I think they're just such a fun way to show off your fandom, show off your favorite characters, and show off some cool artists too. I think that's a really fun aspect of them when you get 
things from like fan artists and people in Artist Alley at conventions and all that. Thank you guys for stopping in on this video on how I made my Ida bag. This was really fun to do and I hope you liked watching me put this together. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!